So the poet Rumi said, what you seek is seeking you. Now our job as human beings to manifest the lives of our dreams or attract our desires is to shine so that that which we are seeking can find us. So today I'm going to give you some tips and some hints on how to radiate your light and attract that which you desire. So first of all, a tip is awareness. Be aware of your body and how your body works. So inside our bodies, we have seven main energy centers. And I'm gonna take a moment and talk about each one. So these energy centers are called chakras, which, is in, which in Sanskrit means spinning wheel of light. So you can think about it as these are these different spotlights within us that are radiating outwards, allowing us to be these lighthouses. So first of all, our first chakra is our root chakra, and it's located at the base of our spine, and it's associated with the color red. So the root chakra has to do with foundation and feeling safe and being supported and survival. The next chakra is just below our belly buttons, and this is our sacral chakra, and it's associated with the color orange. So this is where our creative essence lives. This is where relationships occur, where two creative beings come together to co-create as one. Our third chakra is right here at our solar plexus, and it's associated with the color yellow. And this is where our will lives. This is how, um, where we connect to creating the life we desire through taking action and through knowing that we can do it. Our fourth chakra, and my personal favorite, is our heart chakra. And this is associated with the color green. And this is where love lives. This is the part of us that is generous, compassionate. This is the laughter inside of us. And those who have an open heart and who are kind often have a very open heart chakra. Our fifth chakra is the throat chakra. And this has to do with how we express ourselves, how we share and speak our truth with the world. A lot of people have a blockage here because they're afraid of, of sharing who they are and expressing themselves. So this is the area of expression and creativity lives here as well. Our sixth chakra is located right here and this is, this is where we see. Um, if you are a psychic individual or a clairvoyant, this is you're often working with the sixth chakra. Finally is the crown chakra or the seventh chakra. And this is our crown and it is connected to the cosmos. This is our connection to all that is. So the second tip is to notice. Now that you're aware of each of these areas of your body, notice how each one feels. Do you have stomach pains? Is your stomach hurting? Potentially, are you afraid of taking action? Like I said, often people have blockages in the throat chakra. Are you afraid of speaking and sharing your truth? Are you having root chakra issues? Does the back of your spine hurt? What is making you feel unsafe? So I invite you to notice how you feel inside of your body and connect to each one of these centers and see what comes up. So the next tip is to communicate. Turn within yourself and communicate to these areas of your body. They have information for you. They want to share with you and speak to you. So let's go to the stomach example. If you have a really sore stomach or potentially stomach ulcers, a lot of these, um, a lot of these chakras, if they are stuck, they can manifest as physical illness, which is why we now pay attention to our bodies. Our bodies are telling us something when a physical illness occurs. So let's go back to the example of a stomach ulcer. Tune into your third chakra. Close your eyes and ask your third chakra, what, what do you need from me? How can I help you? What are you afraid of? Think happy thoughts and say nice things to yourself. Turn within and say, hey, I believe in you. You can do anything. Think happy thoughts. As you think these happy thoughts and communicate and receive information from each chakra, you can dispel some of the tightness and allow yourself to shine even brighter. 
The third, or excuse me, fourth tip is to breathe. Our breath is a very, very powerful tool which we have here on planet Earth. And so if you're having this blockage in a chakra, breathe into it. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And just visualize your breath feeding this chakra, helping this chakra to get moving. The next tip is be in the flow. Realize that these chakras are spinning wheels of energy and are constantly moving. And you are made of energy and you are always moving. So take physical action, exercise, get your body going. Allow yourself to be fluid and, and not stuck in your ways and open to new opportunities and flowing. Try new things connect to your chakras and see what they have to tell you. My next tip is to meditate or turn within. Spend just five minutes a day closing your eyes and just feeling what it's like inside of your body. Now, the word meditation sometimes has a lot of junk attached to it and you may think that you need to sit cross-legged on the top of a mountain peak, but it's not the case. Turn within, create some stillness in your being and your chakras will thank you. Finally, speaking of thank yous, give thanks for everything. Be in the moment. See the blessings that are all around you. If you live in a country where you can just grab a glass of water any time of the day, you are so, so lucky in comparison to a lot of places in the world. If you ate breakfast this morning, hey, be really happy. Instead of focusing on what's wrong in the moment, focus on what's good. Focus on what makes you feel good. Focus on the blessings that are all around you. And as you focus on that, you'll attract more to be thankful for. So just to sum it up briefly, be aware. Check out your energy centers. Google chakra, C-H-A-K-R-A, and read more about each one. Second, notice how you're feeling in each one of these areas. Third, communicate to them. If you're feeling blocked, ask why. Ask what your body needs. Ask how you can help. Four, breathe. You feel the power of a deep breath in. Utilize this tool that you have. Meditate. Spend time closing your eyes and creating space and stillness within you. And give thanks. Be grateful. Live a life of gratitude and smile. Namaste. <laughs>